she like attacked her and then that was the last we see of her for the whole movie. I feel like Yeah, I think she got she like was, crushed or something. She's supposed to be a love interest for Colossus. Nakasonic Teenage Warhead, that's her name. That's the weirdest yep. name for an X-Men I've ever heard. Uh, Let's see. There's Colossus. Bro, Nakasonic Teenage Warhead beats up Colossus. Beats up. We don't even get a real name for her. Those aren't their real names. Yeah. The only name, even in the we comics, I think. I think that they created that character because I've never heard of that X Men before. Um, there was a video that Rob did. He showed up like in one scene, I think, uh, when What's Her Face decided to kill all the mutants on the show. He showed up for like one scene in the open school and that was it. I think he said that she only showed up there to introduce her for um for Deadpool. Yeah, for Deadpool. Advertising for a movie. Yeah. I heard that they uh they revealed who came uh who's gonna play cable in uh Deadpool 2 guys. It's like a CBM beast and then it's like, what? If it is, though? I could that see Arnold Schwarzenegger playing him. That'd be great. I could see him playing Cyclops and Jean Grey's kid. Just possessed by a cybernetic organism. Oh, have you been watching Rob's videos with all the, uh, the Secret Empire stuff? No, I haven't watched Rob in a while. It's crazy. Do you, do you mind a little bit of spoilers? Oh, okay. okay, so Captain America, um, you know how he's like, oh, ever since Nazi? the Cosmic Cube, he's like a Hydra agent now yes. and stuff. I do like how they well, made that um, make sense. Yeah, uh, basically what happened is apparently. When the Cosmic Cube did that, it killed the real Captain America, and so, um, Winter Soldier, like, it's, it's, um, it's taken anybody that's been Captain America previously, so it's taken Steve Rogers, Bucky Barnes, and Falcon, since they, all three of them had have been, um, Captain America, and they've all gone to the vanishing point, which nobody knows really what this is, but it's basically where heroes go when they die or something like that. So, um, yeah, but apparently it's not, like, just heroes, apparently it's... Captain America and their villains, and so it's all three of those Captain Americas, so it's the original Steve Rogers, it's Bucky Barnes, cause he's apparently dead now in Secret Empire, and I don't know what happened to Sam, but apparently he's there too, and... So this is a thing now, and everyone's like mind exploding right now. And Rob said that um, like he did the first video where he said that he was like, okay, so there's this lady running away from like. The
this vampire or something, and Captain America like takes it down, and well, just this random guy. Find out it's Steve Rogers takes him down, and then it's like, look below, this is Steve Rogers that took him down. Then everybody in the comments was like, no, because he left it off on such a good It was just like, he did it with his yeah. justice. Yeah, but right it's just, after it was just like, it was revealed that, um, that he was, um, Steve Rogers, and it's just like, because it's like, everyone thought, oh, Steve Rogers, Captain America, had been corrupted by the Cosmic Cube and all this stuff. It's like, what? Do you think this, this is a new? Do you this think is this is honor? You're no better than us, talk. A killer, born for war. Yeah, well, at least I'm still alive. Take out one of those captains before they I run am away. Chasing them right now. Yeah, especially the one that's all by himself. <laughs> oh, that felt good. Brett Lug, the cannibal. Oh hey, he's back. I'll send you back again. This guy ran away. Crap, not what I was planning. Look at that face, it looks like his skull is just coming out of his face. 
face and it's just covered in yeah, this his, black he, blood. His face was like seared off. Yeah. King Kong movie, they had this after credits thing where it revealed that, um, Godzilla was gonna show years, up. That years, yeah, but yep. because, um, Skull, because, uh, the new King Kong movie took place in, like, right after the Vietnam War, uh -huh. um, uh, it's like years later. Godzilla shows up and it's like Monarch had been preparing for this lately. Yep. I watched um I watched the game theory on it. Yeah. So now I'm like hyped because King Kong vs. Godzilla is coming in uh, 2020 I think. I it, I think it's either 20 end of 2018 somewhere in 2019 or beginning of 2020. No, because I think 2018 is Godzilla 2, 2019 is King Kong 2, and then 2020 the uh, King Kong vs. Godzilla. I knew they were Yeah, I can it. see that. I knew for a while. Like, I, I, I kind of well, I mean, guessed, but I mean, like, you know? Yeah, but then you also see, like, Mothra yeah, in the ending credits of... And it's like, whoa. There's like all these other monsters that we know exist because all that stuff. But yeah. I'm gonna end the stream here. Um yeah, so if you like the stream, follow me on Twitch, hit that notification icon, you'll get your little uh you'll get a notification every time I start streaming. Follow me on Twitter. For polls and notific more notifications, subscribe to me on YouTube for all the streams you might have missed. Catch up and uh, see everybody next time. Remember, pickle freak. <laughs>